Hey guys, it's Richard from Grabs and Dragon Fruits, and tonight I'm going to be doing a sweetness and taste test for you guys on my Vietnam White. I also got the Ecuador Polar over here. I haven't, I've always talked about this fruit, but I never actually gave you guys input on what it tastes like, the sweetness of it. So I'm going to be doing this one also since I'm already doing the Vietnam White. So the Vietnam White was harvested two days ago. It has been 41 days left on the branch. And if you guys look at these fruits, they are so nice and plump and round. Here's the first one. This one was the perfect sphere. Isn't that one cool? And then we had a, a littler one. Also very nice and round. So this is the Vietnam White. So I'm gonna choose the biggest one to cut for you guys. So this one looks really big. So I'm gonna cut this, test the sugar with my bricks meter here. This gives me the percentage of the sugars inside. And it's digital, so that way you guys don't have to look through your microscope. I actually can just have it popped up here, and then that way you guys can check it out easier. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with cutting the dragon fruit. So here's the cross section of our Vietnam White. It looks very juicy and crispy, and I can't wait to have a taste of this and take a bite and see how it is. All right, so we only need a quarter of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that up. And let's use this piece. So what I'm gonna be doing is cutting a section off like this right in the middle. I have this here, which is gonna help me extract the juices to get in there. I normally would use a garlic juicer, uh, but I don't have one with me today. I forgot to buy it for this video. So I'm just gonna just simply squeeze it in like this. Okay, so it's in there. Let's go ahead and click that. 19.7. Wow. 19.6 for a Vietnam white is very sweet. They're usually in the 15 to 16 bricks meter and 19 is actually really amazing. I think um, the all the nutrients, the chicken fertilizer, uh, really played a role in making them this sweet. And I also left them ripe all the way to the last day, 41 days for Vietnam white, you guys. So that's the result we're gonna see. So I'm gonna just press it again, just to see if we get the same results. See what 19.3 bricks percent. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, so now let's do the taste test. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so sweet. It's so crunchy and fun to eat, and I'm really enjoying this. Usually, Vietnam white, I don't really care much for because of the lackness of flavor. But this one this year, I think I outdid myself. This is amazing. I wish you guys were here. I would share a piece with all of you guys. And I'm gonna take one more bite. <laughs> this is so good. So the sweetness is, it just goes to the top of your palate and then you bite it some more. And then there's like this little tartness that complements it. So it makes it like a little tarty, but as you chew, it gets sweeter because there's some tartness introduced into your tongue. So it gives you something to compare it to. And I love how the flavor is just bouncing back and forth on my, in my mouth and I'm really enjoying this. It reminds me of a golden kiwi. If you guys ever had that before? Wow. I'm so amazed. Of how this i was just going to take a couple bites but this is so good i have to finish this so i'm sorry guys let me finish this and we're going to go and test the ecuador flora wow okay last bite okay so this bricks meter is very sensitive to the screen so i have to clean it with tissue paper I'm just gonna wipe it off first and then rinse it with some water and I'll be right back. Give me one second.
Okay, so I'm back. Now we're gonna test the Ecuador Pelora. So I'm gonna cut this one in half, going to a qu the quarters. We just need um, a quarter of it. So let's me cut a this cross section like that. I got my little screen here. I've already used this side, so I'm gonna avoid that side. And now I'm gonna press the juices in. So you only need a few drops, you guys, for this to be effective. So here we go. Ecuador Polora, what are we gonna get? 21.4. That sounds about right. The Ecuador Polora are usually that high. And um, they're usually very, very sweet, like honey. So that is pretty accurate to me. I'm gonna press it one more time just to see if we're gonna get the same thing, just to be sure. 21.3. So yes, this thing is like a little honey bomb. They taste so good. And I love how the seeds are a little bit bigger, if you guys check it out. So it makes it really fun to eat. It's kind of like crunchy. So when you're biting, it's just like popping, like little bobas, if you guys ever had that before. It's uh, very awesome. So here's the taste test. Oh my gosh. It's so smooth, like there's no tart or anything. It's literally just sweet and it just consists and stays sweet. And it really reminds me of honey. It's like you're chewing and like little sweetness just keeps on popping. Let's take another bite. Mm. I love the Ecuador Flora, you guys. You can never go wrong with them. They're just so refreshing. It's a hot night tonight and I'm eating all these dragon fruits and it's so refreshing, especially this one. And I love how the seeds just crunch in your mouth. I think that's the best part. I, I really enjoy that. That's why I love to eat the Ecuador Polora so much. They're just so fun and so sweet and you can never go wrong with them. And when you guys are eating this on a hot day and they're chilled in the refrigerator, Super refreshing, very enjoyable. So I'm gonna eat the last piece. I'm gonna hit that bricks meter again, just to check that out. It's at 20, still in our 20 range, so that's very good. The thing is when you're testing with these bricks meter, if the temperature starts to go up, it does change the sweetness level. It is best tested at 20 Celsius, so keep that in mind. So that is our test tasting for today and our sweetness testing today. Once I have more dragon fruits on my vines and my dragon fruits that are ripening right now start to become ready to eat, I'll do the exact same thing again. Do the taste test and test the sweetness levels for you guys. And if you guys have any questions any about any of my dragon fruits, go ahead and leave in the comment section below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. And if you guys want to see more dragon fruit and graphing videos of mine, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that way you guys won't miss a single thing. And if you guys enjoy watching this video, go ahead and hit the like button so that way I know you guys are enjoying watching all my videos. Have a wonderful night now. Bye guys.